Good morning! We thought we would record another vlog and take you with us throughout our day. We haven't done it for a long time, so I decided it's time to do it again. And I was thinking that if I start vlogging more often, then hopefully I'll become more comfortable around the camera as well. Because every time I have to record a video, it's so stressful for me, right? And I have to go away because <laughs> she's feeling I'm really self-conscious and embarrassed, so I'm hoping that this exercise is going to help me a lot and hopefully it will make my videos better for you too so this morning we have a lot of things to do we woke up early we just finished our oil pulling we're going for a run now i think we'll run for around 30 minutes and then come back walking so the dog will be tired then we'll leave the dog at home and we'll go to buy um, fruit and vegetables in the market and then on the way back we'll probably go to the beach not sure right? Surely, okay, we'll go to the beach. The weather, That's the plan. That's the the weather is glorious. I'll show you in a second. Where's the weather? Okay, the weather is really nice. The poor dog is remaining at home. Julieta! Haha, <laughs> you're remaining at home. And she's quite happy to remain at home. Sirena! Sirena! Okay, I wanted to show you. I've just sprouted some buckwheat. Looks amazing, doesn't it? Can you mm -hmm. see the little tails? Wow. I think I'll leave it here for a few more hours and then it will be ready. And then I'm making some bread. Here it is. Today we're going to finish. And I'm actually filming a video about it, so you'll see it in a few days as well. So we're going for a run. We're back from the run and it's so hot. Hello. It was really hot, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah, man. So there's a bit hot. of sun. Whoa. Yeah. It's time to do some stretches now. And then once I finish, we're going to make breakfast with these things. It's going to be a frittata with spring onions, butter, mushrooms, spinach and some parsley. Julieta. Julieta, she's not a dog. Don't smell my so I'm cooking spinach and green onions already and then I've got my mushrooms chopped ready to go and this is the parsley, butter and Luca is making his cappuccino and he said that if you ask really nicely but then really he nice. might make a video on how to make it, really right? Nice. Really nice. Really okay, what would a really nice asking look like? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just mixing the eggs with a bit of water. I don't like putting milk inside, prefer water. I think the good ratio is one tablespoon for each egg. So there are four eggs inside, so I put inside four tablespoons of water. And then I'm going to add some fresh parsley. Maybe it's a bit too much, but... It's not too much. Yeah, we like parsley. That will do. And the mushrooms are cooking. In a couple of minutes I'll add the eggs. And that's it. So this is the finished product. Uh, well, if you want to know how, how to make it, just, uh, just let me know and uh, we'll make a video about it, okay? So I think... The frittata is ready. Oh yes it is. Beautiful. And before we eat it we're also going to have a half of the papaya each. The yogurt. And the yogurt now. I'm not gonna have yogurt. I think it's enough for me. Mmm, beautiful. So here's my breakfast. I was just taking pictures from my blog on this chopping board and this naughty dog wanted to eat my papaya. Giulietta, did you? Yeah, she's feeling very guilty. Okay, let's go to eat this beautiful breakfast. We're back from the beach and of course, as always, 
we forgot the camera at home. Actually, we brought the camera, but we left the battery at home charging. So a camera without a battery is pretty much useless. And I can't believe we couldn't record anything in the market, on the beach. I don't know why it's always like that. Whenever I want to vlog, I'm just useless. It's impossible to do yeah, anything. I know, I'm like a headless chicken. I, I guess I keep procrastinating and leaving the battery at home is probably just a part of my procrastination. Anyway, we're about to make lunch now. This is the food preparation going on. It's going to be a salad. The salad is being washed and dried right now. We have avocado, cherry tomatoes, carrots, uh, courgette or zucchini. And then we'll make a dressing with olive oil and lemon juice. And for dessert, as always, I'm going to have my tahini. Which, uh, no, without honey. I like it alone now. And then we also have some fish cooked the other day. We're going to warm it up and eat it with a wonderful um, green cilantro and garlic chutney that I made a while ago. It'll go perfectly with the fish. And I think I'm going to also warm up some white beans with a bit of butter. And I'm about to bake some bread. Came back and found the bread like this, ready to be made. Uh oh, I can't wait to taste it. So this is the finished lunch. This is my salad. And then the beans and a bit of fish. Yummy. So I decided to make some whey. Um, yesterday we made some yogurt and I decided to turn some of it into Greek yogurt and get some whey because I really want to start fermenting some vegetables. Because lacto fermentation is so healthy. So let's put some of the yogurt on this DIY suspender and in a couple of hours, well, in a few hours we're going to have lovely whey. Time for dinner! Our little pets are sleeping but we're not sleeping yet. She's sleeping as well. Who? Oh yeah, this one is sleeping too. Sirena! Sirenita! Sirena. Sirena brought a massive Lisa today. Yeah, so we put another another bell, another bigger bell, bell on her collar because the collar is prevented from catching things. Actually, they don't, but she catches less. She hasn't brought anything for a few weeks actually, but today she brought a massive one. I had a very clever idea to have a bit of a fast. So all I'm going to have for dinner is a cup of beautiful homemade kefir that I made for myself today. So let's go and get it from the fridge. In fact, I haven't had kefir for a while, so I can't wait to try it again. Here it is. And we also went to the market today and we got these tiny mangoes. And the seller told us that these ones are female mangoes and the male mangoes are the ones you usually see in the stores. These ones are smaller and they have less, more fiber, so we'll see. I've never tasted them before. No, actually, I think we have tasted them before. But anyway, we'll see. We've got some papayas and lots of other cool things. And my whey is finished. I've got enough for a few jars of fermented vegetables now, so I'm super happy. Tomorrow we'll get some cabbage and we'll make some sauerkraut. Oh my god, it's so good. It's my favorite thing in the world, honestly. I think it's funny, though, that in hospitals in my country, they still give kefir with a piece of black rye bread instead of a dinner, you know? <laughs> I guess because it's the most healing food in the world. Oh my god, it's so good. Can I have Fizzy. Mmm, so good. Can I have it? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's record you trying my kefir. Man, it's amazing. What do you think? Hombre, que bueno. Hombre, better than yogurt. <laughs> I think from this now time, on, yes. we'll be making this yogurt. Time, yes. Okay, so I guess that's it. I'm going to go and chill out there next to the dog and watch. I really want to watch Game of, Game of Thrones, but... I do like it. But he doesn't like it. So I don't know. Maybe I'll read a book then. Uh-oh, we've been naughty. And we decided to add some fresh homemade bread just like in the Lithuanian hospitals <laughs> so <laughs> this is the homemade rye bread that I've just made 
and I've been filming a video about it so it's going to be up very soon and you'll see how to make it and that's all kefir and we adding some lovely Kerrygold butter bye bye